Thank you for joining us, man. Thank you for, for taking out the time. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> I had a question dating back to something I, I asked some of your teammates about and I talked to Coach Dorn about. Um, when you guys did the program in February or, or January, the two-day drill you guys did, what did you personally get out of there uh, as a leader, as a guy who, had, who kind of took charge? And how did you kind of take things from the program and, it, and use it during the regular season? Um, yeah, kind of what the program did was that they put us through very – you know, stressful situations and very adverse situations that um, forced us to kind of lean on each other. And um, just it further created the brotherhood that we have now. Um, it created a sense of accountability toward, you know, one another. Um, a, lot, a lot of the things that we, we had already been preaching in our culture, they just kind of reinforced them. And um, we, just, we just carried those things into the season. Personally, I, I, um, I think I, I found my voice um, during that time. Uh, they, they put me in a lot of positions where I had to be out in front and talking and talking and, and leading things. So that kind of gave me confidence to move forward throughout the, the, the short period of spring ball we had and then um, over Zoom, over summer, and into the season. And I talked to his name, Jamie or James, the, 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 the former military guy who led it. And he said throughout the year, um, some of you guys still reach back out to him um, yep. and named, named you. What were some of those conversations like? And what was like, what was your reason for reaching out to him? Like, reaching out to him during the year, during the season? Um, you know, he, he was a great resource, and, and he, he's been through many experiences with you know, just run, running the program and his, his military background as well um, as far as leading the group. So a lot of us um, leaders and leadership council reached reach back out to him just to get his perspective on certain things, not necessarily football-related, but, you know, just team-related, team, team related, just building more camaraderie and things like that, things we could do to, to be better because we're always looking for ways to get better. And uh, he, was a great, he was a great resource to have. Appreciate it. Andrew Schnicker. Isaiah, one of your teammates in the linebacker room, Peyton Wilson, he um, ends up first team all ACC this year. He led the league in both tackles and tackles per game. What did you see from him throughout the year that made him so good this year? Um, well, he, he definitely flashed a lot last year, um, you know, in, in, the, in the number of snaps he had. So we always knew he had the ability uh, the biggest thing for him was just gaining confidence with the playbook and uh, just becoming a real leader on the defense. And that's something he, he's done this season. And um, he's a freak athlete. You know, he's one of the best athletes on our team. And he just plays with a motor and just doesn't stop. Um, his effort um, on play in and play out is just amazing. It's amazing to watch. It's amazing to play with side. And I'm, I'm thankful for him every day because I know exactly what I'm going to get out of him every day. And that's everything he's got. So he, he, he deserves every recognition he gets. Thank you. Alex Sawyer, go ahead. Hey, Isaiah, just for you guys as a team, I mean, how exciting is it to now have that opportunity to go to a bowl game and the season in that way, especially after missing out on that opportunity last year? Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a great feeling. Um, we're thankful for our point of this opportunity. You know, it's not it's not guaranteed at, at the beginning of the year. Um, so we definitely don't take it for granted. And, you know, we get to, get to play against the SEC team, um, a great team in Kentucky. Um, so, and then we get to you know, go back to Jacksonville where we didn't perform well last time and, and get to re rewrite the story there. So we're thankful for the opportunity. David Thompson, go ahead. Hey, Isaiah. I'm just curious, you know, the one downside, of course, of playing in a bowl game this year is not getting to go home for the holidays, see family, all that. How are you guys – doing Christmas, how are you guys, you know, how are you celebrating? How are you staying close with family? Just, you know, how are you navigating that? Um, well, no, we're, we're off on Christmas day and then we'll, we'll practice early Christmas, Christmas Eve morning. Um, so guys who are, who are local can, um, can get out of there. And then from there, it's really just like the buddy system. Um, you know, we're very close in this team. So you know, guys, guys who, who live farther away can't go home, you know, guys who are local want to bring them, bring them with them, you know, just to, be around some, some family and be around some people on the, on the holiday. And then, um, you know, so we get done playing a bowl game, we'll, we'll be off a couple of weeks. So we have time to make up there. Is there any kind of like NC State secret Santa or white elephant or anything <laughs> like that? Um, no, nah, not not this year. That's, that's something we, we, we've done in the past. Um, but no, nah, we didn't do a secret Santa this year, but we'll, we'll, we'll be very festive this week, I'm sure. Anybody else have any questions for Isaiah? Once, twice. All right, Isaiah.